Hi guys! In this video I will show you how to create simple animations like this bouncing ball scene with Fire Alpaca. Fire Alpaca is a free digital painting software used to create digital art. However, only some know that you can create basic animations and GIFs in Fire Alpaca. You can use the program to create quick animations for your projects, but unfortunately it doesn't have the capability to produce professional animations. So first we are going to create a new document. <clears throat> In order to do this you can either go to File and click on New or you can just use the shortcut Command plus N on Mac or Control N on Windows. In the window which appears next, you can enter then the pixels amount of the width and the height of your new document. We will insert here the 1920 pixels in the width box and the 1080 pixels in the height box, which corresponds to the standard video format and is already here. Um, of course, you can use any different size if you want to. And um, we are also going to set the resolution to 72 dpi as it is already here and then you can just click OK to create the document. For starting to create the animation you will need to activate the animation mode. In order to do this um, let's just go to animation and click on animation mode. Now we can draw our first piece of animation. This initial drawing will become the first frame in your animation, so make sure you complete everything that you want to see in the first frame. I'm just going to make a simple bouncing ball animation here in this video. So I need to draw the first circle where I want my animation to begin. The layer you drew the initial drawing on automatically becomes the first frame in the animation what you can see here on the right side. For the next part of the animation, we need to create a new frame. In order to do this, you simply add a new layer to the document and draw then on the new layer. To add a new layer, click on Add New Layer icon or go to Layer and then on Add. Now you can see that there are two layers here on the right side. On the second layer there is nothing drawn yet, but thanks to the so-called onion skin feature, you can see a semi-transparent image in red of the previous frame, which is in our case this red transparent circle here. This allows you to see the positioning of your first frame as you draw the content for the next frame. When you add another layer, only the previous frame is visible as the onion skin object. You can now either draw directly on the second layer or, what makes much more sense in our case, just duplicate the first layer by clicking on Edit and Copy Layer or just with your usual copy and paste shortcut on your keyboard. Now you can see on the right side that there was added a second layer with the same circle as in, as in layer 1. Now you just have to move the circle on the new layer to the position of the second frame. When you go back to the first layer you can also see that there is a semi-transparent circle in green now. The green semi-transparent images always show you the following frame. Perfect. Now we have two frames. So now we can just add some more frames in the same way to complete the whole bouncing ball scene. After you have completed the layers you want in your animation, you can preview the animation you've created and decide on the frames per second rate, which controls how fast or slow the animation moves. To preview the animation, just go to Animation and then Autoplay. 
Once the autoplay panel opens, you will immediately see the animation moving. However, the frames per second rate may be different from what you want it to be. Just use the drop down menu at the bottom of the panel to choose the best FPS rate for your animation. The more frames per second, the quicker the animation becomes and the fewer frames per second, the slower the animation. When you have previewed the animation and made any adjustments to the layers as needed, you can move on to export your animation as a GIF. You could export frames as separate PNG files and use a different program to create the GIF, which used to be necessary as FireAlpaca didn't have the functionality to save frames directly as a GIF. However, FireAlpaca now has the function to save the file as a GIF automatically. To export the animation as a GIF, just go to File and Export as Animated GIF. First, you will be prompted to name the file and select a safe location on your device. Then a dialog box appears, allowing you to set your desired frames per second rate for the GIF. You can also select whether you want the GIF to play on an infinite loop or just go through the frames once by using the checkbox at the bottom. Add in your settings and click OK to save the file. You can now locate the GIF file in the location you saved it. Then open it as you would with an image and the GIF will start playing automatically. You can now share the GIF on your social media or web platform. As I already mentioned in the beginning, Fire Alpaca is good for creating quick and simple animations only. Suppose you are looking for a program to create animations you can use for professional projects, you will need to consider Adobe Animate or Procreate to name a few. Thanks so much for watching and if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button.